When I was in high school, I thought I had what was a pretty nice teacher, a pretty cool teacher. He used to be a roadie for REM, which I like REM, you know, and when I, when I talk like this, I don't like secular music anymore because it's satanic music. And I listen to the Christian radio station and I use discernment with what I put into my ears and brain <laughs> because so much of it's sold out. Like if you're new to this, like a term, like if you know their name, they're in the game or like it's all of them, it's all famous people. That pretty much applies. Like, I'm sure there's some people that aren't totally sold out, but researching the world that we live in, I, I'm struggling to find the words at how massive it is. And again, my family and friends don't understand what I'm doing on this channel, but I'm showing the truth and just how sold out the world is. And you know what's even worse? I don't show some of the like the quote unquote horrible stuff behind closed doors, like ritual abuse kind of things. You know what I'm talking about? Even like mind control and other things. I don't touch on that. I show signs, symbols, and agendas because I can. I can clearly show that and then talk about it and say, well, if this is true, then Jesus and the Bible are true. And you should take great comfort in that. And you should seek the Lord, seek his face. Anyways, in high school, I had a pretty cool English teacher. And for some of the projects we did, like I was allowed to like, you know, hand in like um, songs, like guitar stuff, acoustic guitar and lyrics and things. And he was a pretty good, he, he was really down with it. And I, I appreciate him for that. And one day he gave me a tape of the album Underwater Moonlight by the band The Soft Boys. And I gave it a few listens and I'm like, I like this. And the singer kind of sounds like John Lennon in a way. The singer's name is Robin Hitchcock. I, I don't know how many people are familiar with the Soft Boys. They're kind of like, they're, they're an English group, I believe, because the guy sounds like John Lennon. But they have like, it's not, it's not punk music, but it's kind of like right before, right before that. It's like, it's a little like R.E.M. in a way, and it's a little like the Beatles in a way, just because the guy sounds like John Lennon. Anyways, I liked the album and I appreciate that I got that. I listened to it quite a bit for a while. And the problem with it is, here's Robin Hitchcock. I guess he had a, his own solo project. So he produced an album called I, and it's one eye symbolism. The average person who doesn't get this stuff yet, they will say, okay, what does that mean? That means nothing. It's an eyeball on an album cover. Why are you a crazy Christian? One eye symbolism is the eye of Horus. Horus is an Egyptian false god that is against Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a deity or a principality. It's something that people look up to and worship. It's a false god. And we're told not to worship false gods and false idols. And when I say God, I'm using small g in quotes. But one eye symbolism, you know, I'm sure there's not that many people that understand exactly what the whole thing means, but they do this. It is called the eye of Horus. And again, Horus is an Egyptian sun god, right? He's a hawk-headed sun god. Aleister Crowley spoke about him pecking out the eyes of Jesus with his hawk-headed Horus. Right? Uh, th again, there's a little tidbit for you to chew on. Aleister Crowley, one of the most satanic influential people. People read his books and he, he was into yoga and witchcraft. He was a Freemason and a bunch of other things. Anyways, Robin Hitchcock has one eye symbolism on his solo album cover. Here's a, a band poster or a show poster, Robin Hitchcock and the venues. And it's the one eye symbolism and... Like I said, the, the English teacher that I'm talking about used to be a roadie for REM, and here's Peter Buck, and he was, or he is, the guitarist of REM, right? They go together. They're friends, I guess, or right? That's why they put a show on together. But again, it's more one-eye symbolism. It's kind of like the Vesica Pisces there as well. Here's Robin Hitchcock, the lead singer of The Soft Boys, and he's wearing the Freemason checkerboard. Here he is again, 
and he's wearing a different version of the Freemason checkerboard. Here's one of his eyes. Think to yourself, is this a coincidence over and over again? Or is he doing this one-eye symbolism on purpose? And if that's not enough for you, here he is a little younger, and he's using a sunflower to darken one of his eyes utterly. That's in the Bible, darkening his eye utterly, right? The Antichrist will have one eye darkened utterly, and will have an eye wound, and it will be healed. These people are doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus, God and Egypt, especially in the Old Testament, did not get along that well. Egypt is the mystery schools, the mystery religion, Kabbalah, witchcraft, e like everything. Maybe not Kabbalah to a point, that's, that's Jewish mysticism, but Egypt, right, they, they love like, they love their false gods, their sun gods, sun gods, sorry. On and on and on, and it's all occult. It's like the beginning of the occult. Occult just means hidden, and it's been hidden in plain sight over all these years. I've seen a video or two about people getting a Masonic Bible, a Freemason Bible, and it has some, it has some info from the Bible in there, obviously, because they want to learn the Bible too, because the Bible's the truth, and they do want to know a lot of the truth, but they pervert it with their lies and witchcraft and Satanism and Freemasonry garbage, and... In the, in the Freemason Bible, there's a bunch of Egyptian sun gods, and they bring those into play, like they have something to do with salvation, or getting ahead in this life, or knowledge and wisdom. It is all deception. So Robin Hitchcock of the Soft Boys is very clearly doing one-eye symbolism here. Why is he doing that? Because he's a sold-out, satanic Freemason, just like the rest of the celebrities, they don't come out and say it most of the time. Sometimes they do come out and say it. And then people are still blind and deaf to it. But he's doing one-eye symbolism here. Why? Because he's sold out like the rest of the people in the world. If you don't think this is true, you're going to be in for a very big surprise. Why is it important to know this and not just like shrug it off and say, who cares if they're into that? Let them live their lives. It will help to put the fear of God in you. And the Bible verse that says, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. It is important to know the truth, and it is important to have the fear of God. Then you get wisdom. It's not just like book smarts and street smarts. Wisdom is very deep. Wisdom is really understanding, grasping something, understanding it. So you can put it to your life and go, okay, well... <laughs> I'm not going to go along with that, the crowd here. I'm going to worship Jesus Christ, the only one worthy of worship, the only one that went to the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures, the Holy Bible. Jesus Christ is God. He's the Son of God, and he died on the cross for us to live. Understanding this is the meaning of life. Putting your faith in him is also part of the meaning of life. That's where people's faith belongs. It doesn't belong anywhere else. Don't have faith in Robin Hitchcock doing one-eye symbolism. Again, I like I grew up loving music, playing it myself, playing it with my friends in garages and basements, and just you know. And I I did think about being like not a rock star, like that. That's very cheesy, like rock stars, like like Motley Crue or something. Like I didn't want to be anything like that, but I wanted to be in like a punk band or in kind of like a, a folk acoustic band, and, and just, you know, just play shows and like, you know, have people enjoy my music or our music or whatever. I was never like, I want to be rich and famous from rock stardom. That's cheesy and lame. And it's even worse than I thought because those people are sold out to the devil. They sold their souls for rock and roll. If you gain the whole world, fame, fortune, success, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you lose your only soul, what have you gained? Nothing. You are losing. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.